everyone celebrations are pouring in here at narayana and we are celebrating the remarkable achievements of narayanites today who have excelled in various prestigious international olympiads today i have with me another gold medalist from international junior science olympiad and that is shwetan shwetan first of all heartiest congratulations to you and sir can you let us know your first thoughts when you actually won the gold medal it was an extremely proud moment for me representing the country and bagging a gold medal for it it was a really good experience so what were your thoughts when you got to know that your son has actually got the gold medal were you expecting this we already had expectations the only thing it was more of a relief that uh, the hard work that he had put for last so many years uh, that has at least uh, come to a milestone so that was one thing and second thing uh, th th what we felt good was uh, not only his gold medal but the entire country the winner of this entire uh, international junior science olympiad that was held in romania so that was a bigger uh, uh, achievement for us and uh, i was very happy that shetank has been part of uh, this entire uh, uh, contribution to make india winner of uh, this olympiad so shweta what made you actually participate in these olympiads how did you find out about it I found out about it mostly from the internet and stuff but the competitive spirit of these olympiads and the spirit of learning are what attracted me towards them and that is why I participated in them right so sir uh, as we know like you know preparing for these uh, competitive exams and olympiads can be a little challenging so what do you think has kept him motivated throughout this journey uh, right from uh, his initial uh, childhood Uh, he had been appearing for many private olympiads uh, within the country also and uh, he started doing well so looking at his performance in some of the olympiads related with the science uh, uh, for example i'll just tell you one olympiad of science he got uh, fourth rank right at class 2 so so that was a turning point where we thought that uh, probably the spark is there and then we kept on uh, adding project by project uh, as every single olympiad and try to give exposure as much possible and within the given exposures we tried to identify that uh, what are his strength area and weaknesses so we tried to overcome the weaknesses through uh, ourselves through his self study uh, and as well as uh, the the strength area that we had we kept on capitalizing and kept on adding more projects to that strength area so so that led to final culmination of all that to uh, at, at the class 8 level uh, qualifying for uh, junior science olympiad reaching to ocsc level and again class 9 level again reaching and then uh, finally getting the gold medal wow what a journey that has been yeah. so sir uh, what do you think how has narayana actually contributed to his success uh there are few things Mo most of the time uh, number one i'll talk from academic perspective and number two one from mental strength per perspective so from the academic perspectives though he had been preparing on his own uh but there there are points where your self study leads to a saturation and above that saturation point we need uh, some help either for the resolution of uh, errors that we get or uh, strengthening the strength that we already have so we need some kind of teachers who are specialized in this field uh, that was one second uh practicals we all know that the current formal education system we have very less practicals at the level of science in class 8th and 9th and this uh, igso starts at 9th though he is currently studying in 10th uh, but at that level the practical exposure that we got from narayana the kind of equipments that we got and later on uh, uh, they got strengthened by the hbcsc as well as iisc Ch chalakere uh setups this all uh, gave a lot of academic boost up in theory, theory as well as practicals and second from the mental strength point of view that when you know that uh, an institution along with uh, experts are available in this field that gives you a morale boost up that whenever you need somebody is there so so hand holding uh, by some expert always uh, boosted the morale and uh, helped us to further push our uh, uh existing students right shweta would you like to add something to that how did narayana help you in your achievement mostly my teachers helped me a lot they cleared my doubts cleared my concepts and a lot more there were regular brush up sessions where i was helped in revising some concepts which i might have forgotten some tweaks in the exam which might help me boost my score a lot 
so these were some things that helped me moreover in the practicals as well the experience that i got while working with the equipment in the labs helped me a lot during the final exams so coming to the final question what is that one message that you would like to give to parents whose children are actually preparing for these olympiads or aiming to prepare for these in fact this is one of the best question you have asked out of entire uh, this thing uh, when when shetank was preparing for it uh, i uh, not only shetank whoever i was in contact with whether my friends family as well as uh, uh, others uh, where i interacted i found that more than the child the inhibition lies in the mind of parents and most of the times parents don't even visualize that what their children can do so that's a big bottleneck at the parents level and because of that uh, i'm so surprised that some of the well to do people also uh, filling one 150 200 rupees of form itself which is the initial parents responsibility to initiate with they don't do that and once you don't appear for the exam means you can't win a race unless you are running in a race course and to appear for any exam the first and foremost criteria is to fill the form people don't fill the form of their children so i would request all the parents uh, to start identifying the exams there are many opportunities available within the country and uh, you start identifying the exams uh, as per the strength of children and start filling the form that's the first step once the form is filled the syllabus will be identified by the child the mentors will be identified but unless you fill the form nobody is going to help so start identifying the opportunity areas scan the environment and uh, pinpoint on at some of the exams talk to your children don't do it alone yes. it's not that you find one advertisement and uh, start filling the form so discuss with your child and uh, then uh, together come at a conclusion that in one year you want to take two or three projects and then uh, uh, fill the form and the child itself will start to you, you children can do wonders and the next generation is more smarter than what we all are always and their next generation will be much more smarter so problem is happening at the parents level underestimating the next generation wow uh, that is a great advice sir uh, coming to that everyone out there do not stop dreaming and most importantly take that first step to, towards your dream because after all your dreams are our dreams thank you very much and congratulations once again thank you